Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Doyce A. Smith, age 80, of Cullman, will be at 11 a.m. Friday at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. The Reverends Frank Wood and Benjamin Smothers officiating interment in Spring Hill Cemetery. Moss Service directs. Mr. Smith passed away yesterday at Woodland Village Health Care and Rehab. Visitation will be 6 to 8 p.m. on Thursday at the funeral home. Memorial services for Leroy Floyd Wilburn, age 79, of Cullman, will be at 1 p.m. Saturday at Greater Vision Church. Stanley Dye will officiate. Cullman Funeral Home in charge. Mr. Wilburn passed away on Monday at Cullman Regional Medical Center. Visitation will be 11.30 until 1 p.m. Saturday at the church. Larry Wayne Skinner, age 61, of Hayden, passed away on Monday at St. Vincent's Medical Center in Birmingham. There are no services planned for Mr. Skinner, as it was his desire to be cremated. Hansville Funeral Home is in charge. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. to the April 10th edition of Today on 2. I want to welcome you to the program this morning. Hope you're having a wonderful start of your day so far. Yeah. <sighs> How are you this morning? I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm up and ready. I'm up and ready. Oh, wow. I'm up to start a day. You've had your coffee and you're good? <laughs> I've not had a coffee yet. Oh, my. I'm well, going to go well, by okay, and get then. some. I, okay. have a, I have a two-show day today, so okay. I'm a little... Been real busy with, haven't you? With super, your, super busy. Yeah, well, very good. So, but let's talk. Let's talk about the weather. The weather wow. is something that is uh, impertinent in people's minds today. So let's take a look at our weather. Our weather is brought to you by Mitch Mitch Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Our April 10th almanac shows that the average high for today is 74 degrees and the average low is 45 degrees. The record high in this state in 1995 was 88 degrees and the record low was 27 degrees in 1983. I wish they had a record pollen count <laughs> so we could look at that. All you gotta do is look at your car I know, you can tell. Right? Yeah. My car turned green. Tomorrow the sunrise will be at 621 and tonight the sunset will be at 715. Let's take a look at the radar picture and you can see the activity moving across the country. Ooh, here it goes. And here here it comes. That's right. We have some activity coming in. It's not made it through yet, but let's take a look at the forecast and see when exactly it's supposed to get here. Today, we're good because it's going to be mostly sunny and breezy with a high near 81 tonight. Mostly cloudy with a low around 53, but late into the night, we should be getting some activity. With tomorrow, cloudy, windy with a 100% chance of showers and thunderstorms being late morning with some possible severe and high and the highest near 71. We have some extra information about the weather that says that it will be coming in anywhere from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> so, but that there's, uh, the activity's coming in. Just pay attention if you have your weather alert radios. I have them turned on, program ready to go. Uh, taking a look at the forecast for Friday, mostly sunny with a high around 66. Saturday, high near 69. Sunday, 76. And Monday, 79. So it's going to cool off with that cold front that's moving in and then Sunday warm, and Monday. Warm back up, huh? Yeah, yeah. warm back up, wind yeah. blow, and it caused more pollen to come out of the right. flowers and things. Yeah. Something great to look forward to. Right, Wonderful. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, not 
not everybody's <laughs> allergic, but a lot of people are mm -hmm. allergic, and this is a bad time of the year for them because of all the pollen and everything else. But I do like seeing all the buds on the yes. trees and all the, it's just starting to burst out there, and it's just so nice. It's really pretty. We uh, we opened our show yesterday, and my uh, I looked out in the crowd, and my mother came to surprise me. It was oh, one of those w weird occasions where you get to look out in the crowd, and I want to know that person because yeah. it doesn't happen that often. <laughs> right. Because there's like there's a lot of people, and um, well, we look alike too. So I was like, oh well, there's a mini me or an older me in the audience. <laughs> but uh, I went to her house afterwards, and her entire yard was purple and blue and pink, and oh. she had tulips at her um, her her mailbox, oh. and one of them was like this this tri-colored tulip oh. that I had never seen before. It was beautiful. I wish yeah. I had a picture, but yeah. I didn't have time to put it in the lineup. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. Like I said, it's just a beautiful time of the year. It's going to get a little bit better too. The dogwood are going to start to bloom out, mm -hmm. and those. And to me, it always looks like it snows when the dogwood is in bloom, you know, with all the little flowers and stuff. So it's yeah. really kind of a great time of the year, other than those people that suffer with allergies and, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, this too shall pass, right? <laughs> Good way to look for it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have a Facebook friend that we would like to announce, and that's Miss Jean Moore. And Miss Jean Moore likes Alabama football. Well, I thought I liked Jean until I read that. And country music. But really, I do like Jean. Oh, we're glad that she is our, our fan and that she is a Facebook friend. And so definitely, if you want to be one, just look us up, Channel 2, spell out the number 2, Coleman, and like us on Facebook. We like us. Might as well like, well, we like you, so you might as well like us. That's right. Exactly right. Exactly right. <laughs> well, who is going to be our guest for today? Well, we have a couple of students from Wallace talking to us about arts in April, and Chad Stanford and Shelley Letson, right, are here today to talk about that. They're going to be in the play, You Can't Take It With You, mm -hmm. and so we're going to visit with them. Arts in April in, at Wallace is always a, a great time, but they celebrate all the arts, mm -hmm. not just uh, paintings and that sort of thing, you know, but but anyway, so it's kind of cool that we're going to be getting If you have an artistic bone in your body, go visit Wallace any weekend or, or any day of the week, really, right. at Wallace, and you'll have something creative to... And they always have special events taking mm -hmm. place, so it's a, it's a good thing. I enjoy it. So, that's what we have lined All up. Right. Of course, George is here. Yep. And George is here. We have some prizes to give away, okay. so stay tuned. We'll be right back after these words. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Fire, accident, storm, they all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with auto owners. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Karen. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Time for news and comment on this hump day. If we ever make it to lunchtime, we'll be in good shape, won't we? It's all downhill from there. <laughs> hey, congratulations goes out to Coleman Middle School Principal Lane Hill. According to the Coleman Times, he's been named the Alabama Principal of the Year in his division for 2013. And Superintendent Dr. Jan Harris worked up a sneaky surprise to let everyone know about it yesterday. Uh, it's an interesting story. But congratulations to Mr. Hill for his uh, winning that, that, or rather for that uh, praise and such. James Spann, one of our favorite weathermen of all times. Can't say Dan the man Satterfield because Dan's moved on to other parts. Not even sure where he went. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. There are tornadoes in Oklahoma. <laughs> A lot of other things, too. But he, of course, that's what uh, Satterfield used to really enjoy was uh, uh, telling about what was going to happen. And don't forget to go into the bathroom. I know when wind gets high, go into the bathroom and see, lay down in the bathtub and cover up with a what was it, a mattress? Was that, that was his favorite saying. But whatever works, I guess. Down in Montgomery, our legislature, the uh, Republicans are beginning to consider a cigarette tax. 
Now, so there have been Democrats who have talked about this a good number of years. Republican budget leaders in the Alabama Senate say a cigarette tax increase supported by some Democrats for several years could be worth considering. How much more can you tax on a pack of cigarettes? You know? My goodness now. I mean, you know, what you, you don't get by buying a carton of cigarettes for less than, I forgot I figured it out one. About 50 bucks. Goodness, what a, what a terrible situation to get yourself into. And, you know, look at the, there was a time whenever it wasn't cool to smoke on television in some of the series. But now everybody's, or not a, a lot of people are doing it, you know. And it's almost like, I mean, I was watching a movie, The Flight, with Denzel Washington. And you can always, unless it's been trick photography, you can tell when someone's really a smoker because they can inhale it, it comes out their nose, and they don't cough. <laughs> Isn't that what you do? It's what I do. So I didn't realize Denzel Washington smoked, but apparently he does. Turkey hunters upset this year. And why is that? Well, uh, there was a recent decision by the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Conservation Advisory Board to close the fall hunting season in all counties. So it limits the number of days I suspect that uh, you're going to be able to uh, hunt for turkeys. I didn't realize it was that big of an issue, but apparently there's a conflict because when you've got turkey hunters in the woods and you've got deer hunters in the woods, you have some people who are going to be crossing lines and, and it's a safety issue as well as the fact that it messes up the deer hunters and their efforts to try to keep the scent you know, down of human beings and such. So one of those things they're going to have to work themselves their, their way uh, through, I guess. I believe, uh, Jacqueline, your, your husband is a deer hunter, isn't he? Yeah. Two organizations, AIDS Alabama and the Alabama Alliance for Health, Healthy Youth, they want Alabama lawmakers to deal with the risky threats of sexual behavior in our schools. At, uh, ex some experts say that more than 40% of high school students are sexually active. Now, do we really want to... Isn't this something that you would you'd think a parent should have a role in doing instead of expecting a teacher to start teaching what's safe and what's not safe, really? But oftentimes we want government to do so much of what we don't aren't prepared to do ourselves, unfortunately. Chrysler recalling 247,000 SUVs, those Dodges, you know, some of those uh, uh, regular Dodge cars, the Charger, uh, the Challenger sedans. The problem, apparently, is that uh, some of these vehicles uh, have faulty gas tank hoses, broken drive shafts, airbag warning lights that come on, and there's not really a problem with your airbag. That always spooks me. I, sometimes I think whenever I bump something, how much of a bump does it take for the airbag to deploy? And, well, you can have a broken nose with those things, can't you? Of course, it's a lot better than being mentioned in the obituaries, I guess, the day, uh, day after. The Aniston Star, the newspaper the Aniston Star, is going to begin charging for its online content at the beginning of next month. This comes after the Gadsden Times says its subscription plan is going well. People are going to the Internet for so much of their news, and they're going to begin charging. Uh, the Star began printing six days a week, eliminating its Monday edition. Once the paid subscriber service starts, company officials say all stories in the paper will be available online. Decatur Daily, if you go to their website, you'll see the little teaser headline as well as maybe about a sentence or two, and then that'll be it. Uh, you have to become a subscriber. I don't know. I, I know that this is the way of the future, but it's, uh, it, it seems like such an evolution. And haven't we gone through quite an evolution in the past 20 years, you know, cell phones, Skype and all those things that, for those who aren't technically savvy, the farther behind you get, basically, when it comes to technology. Governor Bentley running for re-election, making that announcement known. So I guess if you're going to do it, you better make the announcement fast so you don't have any other contenders, although I'm sure there will be uh, in the primary. But uh, so far, so good with Governor Bentley. I think he's done a good job, and I think a lot of Alabamians think so, too. Stay tuned. More of today on 2 after this. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. 
overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor our loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. And we are back, and we're ready to give away some prizes with our merchant ads. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's see. We have a two-piece meal deal courtesy of Bojangles, and that is a leg thigh fixing and a buttermilk biscuit. A two-piece and a biscuit. And we have the day pass to the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. Those are our prizes for today. Let's take a look at our merchant ads. Remember to pay attention to these ads that will ask a question, and you could win those prizes. All right, we're going to start with Barnett Tax Service, where those tax returns, electronic filing, and bookkeeping services are available at Barnett's Tax Service. They've been serving Coleman for 41 plus years. They're located one block north of the post office at Barnett Tax Service. And Uniform Places featuring Smart Stretch by Landau. It's a new, breathable, comfortable, and durable fabric. Great place for nurses or anybody who wears uniforms to go at the Uniform Place. And the crew at Earl's Body Shop reminds you to move over for emergency vehicles. I actually saw this not this hint not being taken advantage of. And this is, of course, at Earl's Body Shop at large. A small towing is available and local and long distance. Cups Accounting and Tax Service does quality service at reasonable rates. Check with Cups before you pay too much. They can do personal, business, corporate, and farm accounts. They do free e-files, credit, and debit cards are accepted, and they appreciate your business. And Yates Chance Christian Bookstore wants to remind you that it's all about kids, kids, and some kids at Yates Chance Christian Bookstore. They have puzzles, games, and books, and don't, they don't forget about the adults. They have a great selection of adult fiction starting at $5. People's Tires Break and Alignment Center on Wednesdays. They feature the free fluid level and battery check. Go by there. They can do, of course, give you some new tires or sell you some new tires, but also can do other things as well. And Spring Blooms with the Colors of Sorelli. They are getting new arrivals daily at Doug Dog at Jewelers, and they're in Compass Way, Southwest in Coleman. If you're looking for those colors to brighten up your spring collection of jewelry, check out Sorelli. And Deb's Bookstore. It's your hometown bookstore just down the road. Gift certificates always available. Browsers are always welcome. And their used books are half price. New books are 20% off at Deb's Bookstore. And Tires for Less is more than just Tires where they have Bridgestone and Firestone. Come see the Greg, come see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less on Second Avenue North. And that is a look at our merchant ads. How about we ask an easy question for uh, today? Sounds like it's going to be. All righty. On the Tires for Less ad, they have two brands of tires. If you paid attention, we just mentioned them. Give us one of the brands of tires. Okay. On the Tires for Less ad. You just have All to right. one. Remember, we have the two-piece meal deal from Bojangles, and we also have the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center Day Pass available for a prize today. And all you have to do is tell us just one of the brands of tires that is on the Tires for Less ad. Our telephone number is 256-734-7399. You know, they used to be located kind of over by the Food World Shopping Center. Oh, were they? But they have moved north of Highway 157, okay. still on the left-hand side of the road, I think right next to Earl's Body Shop. Yes, they are yeah. right next door to so Earl's Body Shop. So it's a great, you know, if you need to do oil changes or you need new tires or whatever, you can go see Greg and the guys mm -hmm. at the Tires for Less. But they sell some tires. What kind of tires do they sell? You mentioned it. Yep. I mentioned it on the ad. There are two different tires, and you only need to name one to win the prizes for today. Okay. Well, Nope. Looks like oh, no wait. calls for today. Wait, we've got one call. We want to wait just a oh. second. We've got one call coming Let's in. Let's see if it one works. One second. 
All right. All right. We do have a call ready to go. All right. Good morning, caller. Who am I speaking with? Hello. Good morning. Anne. All right, Anne. And which tire brands are on the Tires for Less ad? Anne, are you there? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you remember which brand of tires on there? Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Call back in tomorrow. Thank you, Ann, for calling in. All right. Well, that's a look at our merchant ads for today. Remember to pay attention, and we'll uh, give away those prizes uh, later. The difference is not when you open our bottle, it's when you open our door. And this is, of course, at Borden Family Pharmacy, where they are a good neighbor pharmacy, where they have all the immunizations you could ask for, including shingles and whooping cough. And Renard's Gallery and Gifts, located right there at 314 First Avenue Southeast. You can visit them on the web at www.renardsgallery.com or go in person and see all the jewelry and the prints and the framing that they can do for you. And Medical Arts Apothecary has been a trusted part of your family for 50 years. They're a family-owned business with personalized care, and they're making a difference every day at Medical Arts Apothecary and they're on the corner next to the Coleman Courthouse. And Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center has the Whirlpool Spa, Indoor Leisure Pool, a variety of aerobic and cycling classes, indoor rubberized walking track, full fitness center complete with weights, cardio, and professional trainers. And Baldwin Counseling Center, if you have problems and need to talk but you still want privacy, call Baldwin Counseling Center where they have lifestyle coaching available, weight loss counseling, and individual and family with Howard Rogers to help with just a phone call away. And Auto Tech, foreign and domestic repair and services available. Uh, so you can see David Methvin, the owner, and he's in his new location right there in the Vimont area beside Ridgemont Church. And if you're looking for a chocolate-covered pretzel, Dairy Queen has it in the blizzard of the month. It's chocolate-covered pretzel pizzas, peanut butter, and chocolate and soft serve. Oh, goodness, that looks so good. Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and towing, and you can do it again today. Give Sunny, Stacy, Beth, or Jim a call. And Mr. Hicks Windsor, if you're still looking for your prom formal wear, contact Mr. Hicks. They have men's wear available in all different color vests and ties. They have also have business and regular sizes for on sale. Barnett Tax Service, tax returns, electronic filing, and bookkeeping services, including those W-2s and 1099s. She can do that all year long, of course. And she can do the direct deposit, debit card, pick your refund, check up at the office, just however you want it. It can be mailed to you even. All right, remember to pay attention to those ads because the question won't be as easy as it was today. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Super easy. Let's take a look at our birthdays for on April the 10th. Well, it looks like Sheila Drum has a birthday along with Shelby Machen. And their names will be put into the drawing on Friday where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Ooh, I wonder if they could get one of those chocolate-covered pretzel things. Sure can. Wow. Always Blizzard of Month, you can get it in the cake as well at Dairy Queen. Hey. All right, we're going, to be we're going to be back with a visit from Shayla Edson and Chad Stanford right after these words. <laughs> There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Newton. Call us today and let us tailor our loan program to your specific needs and requirements. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. And you can't take it with you if you're looking for something to do this weekend starting Thursday. Wallace State Community Theater College our College Theater has a performance for you. It's coming up starting this Thursday. And we have two of the performers today, Shayla Letson and Chad Stanford are here. Welcome to the program, guys. How are you doing today? Doing well. Thanks for having us. No problem. All right. If someone is not familiar with You Can't Take It With You, give us kind of a backstory as to what we can expect storyline-wise going into it. What is it about? 
Okay, um, well, I guess it starts off with you have this crazy eccentric family, and my character, Alice, who works at this um, banking firm, I guess, on Wall Street, falls in love with her boss's son, and um, then she has to bring him home to meet her family, of course, if they're going to get engaged. Mm -hmm. Set in the 1930s, and well, chaos ensues <laughs> okay. when his family comes on the wrong night. Oh. oh, goodness. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so which part do you play? Well, I'm Mr. DePena. Um, I'm really a, kind of a family friend who uh, stays at the house full mm -hmm. time. Uh -huh. Oh, one of those came to visit and never left kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. Huh? Yes. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of those in this one. Yes. So it sounds like it's a fun, upbeat play. Oh, right? yes. Yeah. It's a very heartwarming comedy, if, okay. if I had to describe it. That's okay. what I would say. Okay. Uh, it's... Um, Got a lot of different characters, I would imagine. So, how many in the cast? Um, six girls. Ten guys. Ten guys. Oh yes. wow! Okay. Yeah. Normally, it's reversed. Normally, you don't have that many guys in a production. That's yeah. That, yeah. that's rare. That yes, that happens. Yeah. that's a lot. So, the Wall State Singers, you're part of that, yes, aren't you? Okay, because I recognized you from going <laughs> to see some of your performances, and y'all did a great job. So, Thank is you. there some? Is this a musical? Did I miss that part, or is it just? It's just a regular play. No. So you don't get to use that talent, then, do you? No. Well, I try to backstage, but I kind of get in trouble sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're very diversified, then. You can see and you can perform, huh? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. I try my best. Okay. So is this something that you wanted to do for a long time? Did you, or is this, once you got to college, thought, ah, this would be kind of fun? Well, um, actually, I hadn't done anything like this until my senior year of high school, and uh, I kind of got brought up into it uh, when I applied for college. And it, it's, a, it's great, though. It's a blast. I really love it. And uh, mm -hmm. something I might plan to do in the future. Okay. And what about you, Shelley? How, about, how did you get involved in this? Um, well, I started theater back at my high school. I started freshman year, and then I went off to college, not at Wallace, and, and kind of stopped doing it. And then when I transferred to Wallace, all my friends were doing it. I was like, well, my friends are doing it. I've got to do it, too, of course. Right. And then I've just been doing it for three years now at Wallace. So. But this is, is this your major? or No. Yeah, this is just no. on the side fun kind Just of what stuff. I love to do. Okay. Okay. So what is your major? I'm a paralegal major. Oh, okay. I actually graduate in May. Okay. So. Very good. Yeah. And Chad, how about you? Well, I'm really a general studies major right now. I'm not really sure, but I'm planning on transferring and continuing a theater type program. Oh, so it's gotten into your blood then, huh? Really yes. Yeah. Now, I know, Shelly, you've been in a, a, a lot of productions with a wide variety of everything. How does this show in particular compare it as the others? Like, what's different about it? What makes it distinct in your mind? Um, this show, you can relate to it. Mm -hmm. um, I know last spring I was in Much Ado, and while I could relate to that character, mm -hmm. it was just in such a different time, and we just spoke so differently. Mm -hmm. I can really put myself in Alice Sycamore's shoes, and I can see a little bit of my family and her family. Uh -oh. <laughs> and so, well, everyone has that crazy aspect. Right, yeah. everyone has those little quirks. quirks. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and so I can really relate to this show because, I mean, everyone has nuts in their family, yeah. mm -hmm. so I think everyone can find someone in this show that be like, oh, that looks like my mother, or yeah. that's my father. Right. So is this a family-friendly show? Is that safe to say, or is, it there, is there an age Absolutely. restriction? No, this is okay. definitely a family-friendly, bring everyone, and just come have a ball with this. Come laugh. Well, when is it going to take place? Well, we start Thursday at 9.30 in the morning, and that's kind of a student <laughs> show for... Um, for all the kids at Wallace, and, and we have some high school students coming too. Okay. Cool. And then we pr open for the public at 7 that night, and we go 7 on Friday, 7 on Saturday, and then 2 o'clock on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. All righty. And this kind of starts off the whole uh, arts and, um, uh, like, the uh, celebration of the arts in April in Wallace, right? Yes, sort of. We've had other events earlier in the okay. week. We had a storyteller come yesterday, okay. um, Nina Reeves. Okay. And um, well, Justin Johnson was there, the guitar player. He was there okay. a couple of weeks ago, I think. Okay. Alrighty. Yes. What else is playing? Do you know? Um, I know that the choirs have a concert. Yes, we do. I know the jazz band and the concert choirs have a concert. Okay. okay. And there's galleries up in the Borough Center, so everyone just come and walk down the halls and, and just see all this local artwork. Okay, fantastic. Now, going back to this show in particular, now, if anyone has ever seen a show at Wallace or has seen the choreography in the singer show, who's the director for this show, someone is, that's familiar for him? Well, um... Lauren Salerno, we call her LC. She's great. She um, really ev everything that goes good with the play. Mm -hmm. She probably had a big part. Had a doing hand in it. I know she's been there for a couple of years, and every uh, show that I've been a part of with her, she's done a really great job. 
and so it's good. It's always nice to see who the director is. Right. Yes. And is there a uh, charge to come in and, and um, see the play? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Students is five dollars and adults is ten. Okay. Okay. And they can get them at the door, right? Yes, ma'am. And where is it actually being performed? It's in the Betty Leith Haynes okay. Theater. So the big theater. Okay. Yes. Well, good luck to you, and I hope you'll have a great time, and I hope you've got a lot of people that come to attend. Thank you so Thank much. You Thanks Thanks for Thursdays, here. guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back with a look at our community billboards right after these words. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. Now it's time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. PALS is presenting the Coleman County and City Cleanup on April the 20th from 8 until noon. Contact your local town hall or city hall for bags and disposal locations. And Coleman High School Pre-Construction Open House will take place on Friday, April the 12th from 3 until 6 o'clock. Everyone is invited to go to Coleman High School and uh, go into the multimedia presentations of the new school will be shown and reservations will be, refreshments will be served. Sorry about that. April walking tours are taking place every Saturday in April beginning at 10 a.m. They're guided by the community historians. Local stories will be told and printed programs are available and the tours begin at the Coleman County Museum. And community billboards, of course, are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. And if you want to send us one, you can email it to channel, channel 2 coleman at gmail.com, fax it to 256-734-7680, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman, spell out the number 2. And a look at our weather forecast. A quick look brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Our forecast for tonight will be, or today will be mostly sunny, breezy with a high near 81. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low near 53. With scattered thunderstorms expected to move in late tonight ahead of a cold front that's moving in. A uh, few storms could be strong with winds up to 50 miles per hour. And heavy rainfall could also be a threat with tomorrow with a 100% a hundred percent chance of rain with showers and thunderstorms beginning late in the morning with a possible severe and high near 71. So just keep a lookout for that weather if, if yeah. any kind of bad thing happens. Just keep those weather radios could on. Could be bad. Could be bad. All right. Well, who is going to be our guest for tomorrow? Dr. Elton Bolden will be here to talk about this presentation that they're doing and to kind of inform the general public of the big transition and transformation that Coleman High School is going to be receiving soon. And I saw some of the renderings that they sent over of the new high school, and I'm impressed. Very Needless good. to say, so pay attention to our uh, look for it tomorrow. Yeah. We'll have pictures on the show. Thank you so much for joining us in Today on 2. Hope you have a great day.